Hi guys, welcome to Who's in Dinosaur World. Today, uh, I'm Keith Tannis. We've got our Louis, our little boss monitor. Uh, Louis, I say, is a boss monitor. They can be found in Savannah and Sub-Saharan uh, Africa. Now, the word monitor lizard generally tends to uh, instill fear into people. A lot of people imagine large, scary lizards found across Asia and Africa, and a very close relative, the Komodo dragon. Thankfully, bosque or savannah monitors do not get anywhere near that big and nowhere near as terrifying. Uh, a lot of people also ask, with a Komodo dragon, it's got a very, very nasty bite that can actually kill you. Does Louis here have that too? No, thankfully. Although he has got an incredibly strong jaw, and if he did decide to give anyone a bite, it would hurt quite a bit. That incredibly strong jaw is mainly there because he tends to feed off arthropods and other invertebrates. Things such as millipedes, locusts, beetles, uh, but also things such as African land snails, which have got very, very tough shells which he might need to bite through. Uh, here at the zoo, we feed Louis a mixture of locusts, mealworms, waxworms, and occasionally, when he is very, very lucky, we'll even chuck in chicks, mice, and rats. But once again, like he is very lucky. You will notice every now and then Louis will stick out his forked tongue. That is his way of smelling. The fork in the end helps to give him a wider surface area for smelling his prey, but also allows him to figure out what direction he can smell it from. If the left prong can smell something, it's probably to his left. If the right prong can smell something, it's probably to his right. As well as this though, you'll notice he's got rather large eyes. These guys are diurnal, you'll notice they've got circular pupils, much like us. They have actually got incredible eyesight. This is brilliant because out in the wild, these guys are hunted by birds of prey, big cats, and even bigger lizards, so they need to be on the lookout constantly. You'll also notice he's got short, yet stocky limbs with very sharp claws on the end. These guys are expert diggers. In the wild, they've been seen digging into termite mounds, which can be a couple of feet uh, thick. And they've also been seen digging their own little burrows, like they're expert little diggers. Technically they can climb, although it is very, very unlikely. Also, uh, with most monitor lizards, you'll notice they tend to have a long tail, which they use for whipping. Thankfully, Louise is not that long, so if you did whipping, it wouldn't hurt too much, but you can also see that it's why we're keeping it covered at the moment. If there are any more questions, feel free to pop into our rivers, rainforests and deserts to read up on him, or feel free to grab a member of staff and ask any questions you might have.